after some redfish. Captain Olden has put us on a great spot. We've got some tailing redfish. He's going to throw a spoon. I'm going to throw a little bit of top water. We're going to see what happens. Stay tuned. This should be exciting. Yeah. All right, where are they at? Check them out. Scales. Okay, right there, right there in front of you. Okay, good job. Fish on! Fish on! Fish on, I'm telling you. Big fish. Big fish on scales and tails. Coming right under the boat. Coming right under the boat. Oh no. Oh no, we gotta get the trolling motor up. Oh no. Boy, sight fishing big redfish. Sight fishing big redfish on scales and tails. Look at this. Golly, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. He is smoking this bass outfit. Man, we're in about a foot of water. Got a gold spoon on. We saw him tailing. He was coming at us. Made the right cast. That's what it takes. The right presentation. Put it in front of him. Boom! I mean, it was on. Look, there he is. He's coming up. Get him in the back of the boat. Look at that, look at that big redfish. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Look at that, look at that. There we go. Let's get him to the net. Yeah, baby. Check this out. Big redfish on scales and tails. Yeah, baby. Look at that, crunchers. Up here, what, chasing, chasing mullet, shrimp, mullet, shrimp, some oyster beds around here. I'm telling you. Got some limited trout this morning. Getting redfish now. I'm telling you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look how that dot. Blue iridescent tail. This is what they mean when they say tail and redfish. Fish is down there. And that tail's coming up. Man, it's hot. I'm out of breath. I'm telling you what, this is awesome. Alright. We'll get him back in the water. He's gonna get him. He's gonna get him. Get him, he's out there. He's out there. He got him. I knew it. I knew he was going to get him. I could just tell. All right. He's going to have to come back. Yeah. Come on back. Come back to the back of the boat. There you go. I knew he was going to get that redfish. Perfect situation. We saw him cruising. All right. Look at that. Look at him go. Look at him go. All right. I'm going to net this one for you, Captain. Now, how is this that I'm netting the fish for the Captain? That's a beautiful redfish. Boy, he swallowed that spoon, man. Give me some skin on that one. I'm telling you what, you want awesome redfish action, look this man up. We're going to have his number later on in the screen. And look at this redfish. He is a multi-dotted fish here. Look at that. Look at all those dots. One, two, three, four on that side, four on the other side. You know, I've actually caught a redfish one time that had 98 dots on it. 98 dots. I know some of the redfish tournaments I've been in in Florida, they do have a, a category for the most dots. I guarantee you would have won that one. Oh, yeah. I, it's, it's almost like a special crowd. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, look, look at, let's see his mouth. See, his mouth is built at a downward angle for feeding down in the oysters, mudding up crabs and tube worms and things. And when they do that, that tail comes up, and that's what we're looking at now. All these tails out here. I'm telling you what, we're going to get this fish back in the water, and we're going to have a great time. Right here, Dan. Right here, we got one cruising. Oh, made a kind of a backhand. You want to get it about 12 to 18 inches in front of the fish. Make the bait look like it's fully in. You don't want to take your bait and attack the fish. That's totally unnatural. You want to make your bait look like it's escaping. You're going to get more strikes and better results that way. We're on. We're on. Five redfish right there. Just a little the jig. And man, we are on. See it right there? Listen to that. Listen. That's cool. There you go. Well, throw out there. Throw out there, Captain. Applying a little bit of pressure, but you got to know when to let it go. There you go. He's heading out to sea. 
Oh, he had to have a piece of that. They should turn in the boat there. Oh, coming right at us. Oh, no. There he is. He's coming right up. Oh, man. All right. There we go. Talking about big redfish on scales and tails. I'm telling you. Boy, that purple chartreuse, he had to have it. Give me some skin there, buddy. I'm telling you, big redfish on scales and tails. What a beautiful redfish. Boy, he swallowed that cocoa minnow. What kind of minnow is this? He swallowed that bayou chub. Look at purple chartreuse in this stained water. He saw it, he had to have it. Boy, that's awesome. All right. All right. Gold spoon. Take it away, Captain. There you go. There you go. Good job. Nice, nice redfish. Out here with the net. Sight fishing. Put him right up here. Right in the net. Look at that. We got him. All right. We're gonna have some screaming drags on scales and tail. Yeah, man, can't you just feel this? Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, this rogue rod is doing it to it. This redfish special. I'm telling you, this is a good fish right here. Now he hit that jig. Look at him head shaking out there. Oh, he's... listen to that. Listen. Oh, man, he's wearing my out. Man, I'm telling you what, this is so awesome. There he is, right to the net. Yeah, Rogue Rod did it, man. Good help with my good... Uh, you don't even have a plastic left. Oh, oh, man, he took it. Man, this old rogue rod redfish special put it to him, huh? Yeah. Whoop that fish, man. The guys up in Oregon designing rods. They've taken all the top anglers in the country, getting their input. They're coming out with a great, great product. I'm telling you, this is a red dog, seven foot. It's got a stout, stout backbone. It's got a nice soft tip. So even with that lure out there, you can feel the sensitivity. But man, it's got the power to turn these fish around. What? Where they at? Where they at? Got a little chop. There's another one we can throw in there. Throw in there. Two before. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Alright. Just blind casting by these rotos. Old cat and get the net. Yeah, there you go. All right. Pretty good. There we go. There we go. Nice. Get a hold of him. He's drumming. Nice red fish. Yeah, baby. Check him out, boy. He had to have that purple and chartreuse. Good there. That little grub. Reaction bait grub. That's the ticket for this guy. Alright, check him out. Hey. Yeah. Look at that. They got some chompers up in there now. We're getting soaked on scales and tail, but that's all right because it's about 100 degrees out here. But we're having a good time. We're catching redfish about six, eight inches of water. Man, isn't that cool? Check it out. Man, that's an awesome fish. Tell you what, 
tastes good in the skillet, too. Thank you, Big Daddy. Right. Right. <laughs> Man, that's cool. Check it out. Nice, beautiful bronze color up here in the shallow mud flat. Oh, front of the boat cap. That's a good one. Peel the drag. Good job, there right. you go, do some more. What, Captain Olden? Th this has been so cool. You know, tell, tell the people, you know, how to get a hold of you, everything. Uh, they need to get out here and enjoy some of this great redfish. Yeah, just look me up, uh, Captain Olden Roger, Coastal Charter Services, area code 985-856-6494. We'll come out here, we'll catch some of these. And I'm, we'll put that number up on the screen, you know, get a pen and paper ready. And you got accommodations. He put us up for the night. I mean, awesome. A place, a houseboat, sleep like 10 people. Got full kitchen, full amenities. I'm telling you, this is the ticket. Just south of Homa, you know, a quick drive right down I-49, get on 90, go through Morgan City, boom, you're there. No problem. Look at this. There's not a soul in sight. It's awesome. Thanks for joining us. I really thanks for having me. I'm telling no you, problem. man, thanks no a lot. For